Hello. Hello. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. We hear you. You're live. Who's with me? Yeah, yeah. I'm all right. All right. What do you want to debate about? You are a Muslim? Yeah. To be honest with you, I cannot debate a Muslim. Very intelligent. You tell me, what do you like me to ask you? You see, because you are very smart and you are very, you know, I mean, scary. Tell me the question and I will repeat the question as it is to you. <laughs> okay. Um, my question to you is, uh, how do you know that Jesus is God? How do you know that Jesus is God? Is that the question you like me to ask you or this is a question you like me to ask myself? I want you to um, answer that question uh, to the best of your knowledge. All right. Well, I will, I will, I will, um, I will answer you, my friend. So let us go and see how we can answer this question. By the way, you gave me a very hard question. I don't know. Is it okay if I call a friend or I should do it by myself? Well, I mean, if you can do it yourself, that would be very helpful. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. You know. All right, my friend. Do you believe in the Quran? <clears throat> um, I've had my doubts. Oh, okay. So you are a Muslim, but so so. Yeah, exactly. All right, that's wonderful. I encourage you to have more, more, more of so so. We go in the Quran. Okay, why friend, if, if we go in the Quran, the Quran yeah. says the following. Mm -hmm. Do you speak Arabic? No. No, oh, that's okay. Then we will read the translation. Yeah. Chapter four, verse number one seventy one. Okay. Okay. If we go there, we will find the following: the Quran confirm Good. that Jesus the Christ is the son of a woman. Her name is Mary. You agree with that? Yes, I do. And then he is Allah Messenger. Do you agree with that? Yes. Okay. And then he says, and he is His Word. Do you agree with that? Um. What do you mean he is his word? Uh, don't ask me. The Quran says that. The Quran says, and Jesus, Jesus is the son of Mary, and he is a messenger, and he is his word, which means the word of Allah. Do you agree with that? Can you get the narration up, please? Well, his, his word. You can go, you can go up right now and see the narration. This is this is Quran, what I will do for you. I mean, now you want to read the interpretation, you mean? Yes. Well, the, the word of Allah is the word of Allah. Allah, he speaks words, he say words, you know. So here is the word of Allah, as simple as that. Now, and then he continues saying, which he bestowed on Mary. So this mm -hmm. word, this word is coming from where? It's coming from heaven. Okay. Okay. So we agree, me and you, that he is his word, and as long as he is his word, so he's coming from heaven. On Mary, oh. and spirit yep. proceeding from him. Spirit, Jesus Christ, is a spirit proceeding from him. That's true. Okay. Yep. So you agree with that? I do. All right. So let us me me and you organize things together focus on you okay jesus is focus. the messenger all right i will i will, yeah. I will do this i'm going mm -hmm. i'm going to copy the point one by one the one we agree upon me and you okay okay yeah so jesus is the messenger of allah i'm going to copy that and i will paste it on the screen so we can yeah. count, count with the things we agree upon okay all right. so he is first the messenger of allah Okay. Yeah. Second, he is he is his word. He is his word. Bestowed yeah. Mary, which means he is yeah. coming. He is coming from heaven. Yeah. Okay. So you agree on that? That's wonderful. That's, I feel like making a logical leap there. Okay. Well, we are going me and you together to see yeah. what is logical and what we agree upon first before we see our differences. Correct. That's that's okay. a, that's a better yeah. way, right? And then it says, and he is a spirit. Proceeding from him. All right. Okay. Okay. So now I didn't. I didn't know. If, I didn't know it said that. In, it says in the in the verse in the front of us, chapter four, verse one seventy one. Yeah. Okay. So now okay. those those are three things. And by the way, you are welcome to call me anytime. Sound like you are a nice gentleman, and you are not a rude person, and I like that. So okay. let us let us me and you. Uh, uh, what I can call you, Muhammad? What is your name? Um, you could call me Adam. Adam, okay, Adam. So the 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 Quran confirm in the front of us three things, as you see, that Jesus mm -hmm. first, he is a messenger of God, which means he's a man. Yes. Then he is the word of God. Now you agree with me that the word of God is coming from heaven, right? Well, that's where God is. So yes. Yes, that means Jesus is the word of God coming from heaven. So Jesus is not from this earth. In the Bible, Jesus said. My kingdom is not in this earth. I am from above, and that confirmed mm. what Jesus said that he's from above. So Jesus, before he became a man, what he was, he was a word. Yeah, and that word became a man. 
His name is Jesus. Okay. We agree? Okay. So Jesus, who was the Word of God in heaven, he came to earth as a man. And then that word, it says here, that he is, in the same time, he is a spirit proceeding from him, which means from Allah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, you speak English very well, I guess, better than me. Proceeding. Do you see the ing? Yes. Okay. Proceeding. When I say from. okay, when I say proceeding using the ing, it means this is something continues, right? Yes. If it's proceeding, yeah, yeah, okay. it's always that's continuing. Mean, that's mean always the spirit of Jesus is proceeding from Allah Spirit. Hmm. And now you tell me if Jesus is God or not. How Jesus is coming from above. How Jesus is the Word of God. How Jesus is spirit yep. proceeding from God, yet he's not God. How that can be possible? That's a good point you make, to be honest with you. Um, same time, my friend, Adam. Same time. Yeah. You see, the second we say that he was a Word in heaven, that means Jesus has exist before he was created as a man. That's true. Well, that's wonderful. Jesus said, before Abraham, I am. This is in total agreement with the Bible when Jesus, he said, before Abraham, I am, which means my existence have nothing to do with my birth. Yeah, but... He, he had confirmed <laughs> that. Adam, it, it, don't you see it's confirming that? He was a word before he became a man. But the thing is that you don't even believe in the Quran, do you? Yeah? My, my friend, you see, I'm showing you from the Quran because you believe in the Quran, not me. Oh, you, your, your position is that the Quran is full of no, logical I'm trying, I'm trying to show you how, you, you see, when I speak to somebody, believe, yeah. believe in yoga, I have to talk to him mm. in the language of the yoga, which he understands. When I speak to yeah. somebody as a Hindu, I have to speak to him based on what he believes. Everybody, every one of us have a background. If I go right now and sit with a farmer, what he knew, he knew yeah. how, how to dig in the ground, put a tree, he knew better than me than that. So I have to talk to him based on what he knew based on what he believe in not based on my belief or my philosophy so i'm coming to you i'm coming to you and you see now we we have a we have a common ground in this point yeah. now that you and me ac accept and now we have a better way and to understand how jesus can be god if the quran yeah. confirmed that he was the word of god before he came to earth then now you need to ask yourself the question how he was in heaven and the Quran, by the way, it says his name. What, do you remember the verse when the, the angel he came to Mary and he said to her, I, I, I am here to, to, to announce to you the gift of the Holy Son. His name is Isa. Mm. So he had a name as Isa before even he was born. Mm. So Isa, no. was, well, Isa was in heaven as a word of God, but he is not a man yet. Mm. In chapter 19, verse 19, it says, I am here to announce to you the gift of a Holy Son, which means Jesus was a holy in heaven now if i ask you if i say to you the one who made my mother bretnet is my father do you agree with that can you repeat that if i say to you the man who made my mother bretnet is my father do you agree with that no what do you mean no the one who slept, said... the one who slept with my mother or your mother with my respect to her he is the one okay. who made her he made her bretnet yeah. right okay yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, who is the one who made Mary Bretnet? It, well, um, according to all traditions, it's um, it's the spirit of God, isn't it? No, it's God. Okay, the spirit cannot create. There is nothing. Nobody can create save Allah, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So who is the one who made Mary Bretnet? Allah. Yeah, well, okay. Was, yeah, so now, yeah, yeah. if we ask Christians, he said to you, Jesus is the son of God. Why? Yeah. Because who is the father of Jesus? based on, on our logic is god see so now we confirm yeah. if we ask you now as a muslim why mm. jesus only is the only person who is born of a woman but he don't have a father you can't explain that it, to me it is very significant you are correct all right so what, what, what the point then obviously there is a god don't do things for no reason there's a reason what is the reason obviously he's trying uh, to show us something otherwise Jesus should be the same. Why Muhammad have have a mother and father? Why Moses have a father and mother? Why Abraham you have all of them? Uh, Abraham is is a great great man in in the in the history of Christianity, even in Islam. So why all of them they have normal parents, and after generation and generation, only one person in the whole universe is born, but yet he don't have a father. What the point? 
Mm, this is obviously it's a very unique occurrence. Especially, my friend, if I if I say now to you, my mother she gave birth to me, but she was she was a virgin. I mean, there's no proof or disapprove, correct? I mean, there's no point of this uh, miracle. Yes, that's true. Because anyone can claim your mother can claim same. My mother she can claim the same, and this would be funny. So what the point of saying that Mary she have no man? Making such an incredible miracle when nobody can prove it. The purpose of miracles is to make people believe. Is that correct? Yes. To show the power of God. Okay, but this is a miracle nobody can see, nobody can witness. Yeah. It is something behind doors. There's no no need for it, unless okay. unless there is something behind that idea that this person is not from this earth and he is the son of no man. Hmm. And that's why. And that's why Jesus is God. Okay. What do, okay. You, what do you think? It's a lot to take in, to be honest with you. Um, I'm, I'm following your logic, however. So, because yeah, I'm, I'm open minded. So, um, uh, although I've been raised, you know, it's, it's obviously not in concrete. You know, um, I'm, I've got my own question. And there was one of my questions as to why you believe Jesus to be God. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, um, I, I follow your logic. Well, my friend, there's not, not only it's about logic. You see, if we say just a logic, then uh, 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 you know we we need the. Uh, I don't know how to explain it to you. You see, w when we say there's God, He made a tree. Mm. Then why He made a tree? The tree is not made just to be there. The tree is made for a reason so if, yeah. you, if you if you if you look at the complex of the earth how it is you will see everything complete each other right yeah the insects are there for a reason the snake is there I for do. a reason the cats yeah. the rats the dogs everything every person every human every insect every creature is exists for a reason now hmm. the existence of jesus in such a situation shouldn't we ask ourselves what is the reason yeah, I do ask my I do ask myself that question to be honest. That's wonderful. Why why the Jesus in the Quran is called the holy? The Muslim they say to us, how God can be born of a woman, which means he's you know she gave birth to him from her private part, and they think this is an insult. You see, God is always holy. Even the Quran in chapter 19, verse 19, it says that I am here to announce to thee the the, the, the holy son. So Jesus, even he's born of a woman from her private part, even the Quran confirmed that he's holy. So the Muslim here they have hypocrisy. When they want, they remember that Jesus is a person who is born of a you know, women private part. When they, when they mm -hmm. want, they ignore and they forget that Jesus is holy. How Jesus is just a prophet like everybody, but he never commits sin. How Jesus is a prophet like everybody, but he is coming from heaven. And now he is going back to heaven. He is in heaven right now, correct? That's what the Muslims say. According to the word, uh, you are correct. Yeah. So why, why Jesus is in the heaven? Why did Muhammad? The Muslims, they say mm -hmm. Muhammad is the greatest prophet. Do you think the greatest man to Allah, he will be in the grave and the one who is disagreed, he will be next to Allah right now? Well, if I think of it from my perspective, if I have someone who is very dear to me, um, I would want them with my son. See, so if, if Muhammad is the greatest, he should be now with Allah, not in the grave. Mm. Right? Now, Jesus, mm. the person who is a living person for thousands of years, is that a human to live for thousands and thousands of years until judgment day? Is that a human? No, obviously. no, no. Obviously, it's not. So even the Quran, mm. in every step, every word, every line, confirmed to us that Jesus is miraculous person. Even even the Quran confirmed when Jesus he was born, he spoke in the cradle. Do you agree with the Quran? Say say that last word again. Jesus he spoke in the cradle. Oh yes, yes, that's okay. correct. Muhammad he waited for forty years to receive inspiration of Allah, and he did not even talk to him. He sent him a guy. His name is Jibril. Is that correct? And he also received it from Angel Gabriel. All right. So why Jesus, in the first day of his life, he spoke as a prophet and took Muhammad 40 years to be a prophet? Shouldn't we ask ourselves why Jesus did not wait for Jibreel to teach him? Even the hadith confirm that Allah, he made a plastic surgery for Muhammad and he installed a dish of wisdom and dish of faith in his chest. Mm. And I think you know the story, right? Yeah. Okay. Why Allah did not need to do plastic surgery for Isa 
to install a dish of faith and dish of wisdom. Why Asa is born with knowledge? Do you know why? Well, because he's special. No, because simply, my friend, he is the word of God. So you're telling me the word became flesh? My friend, yes, he is the word of God. This is why the word of God is the knowledge. He do not need a knowledge. So, is, so why... let me just follow your theology. Yeah? So you're saying basically, because he is the word and he became flesh, therefore, because God is perfect, Jesus never sinned in his life. This is what the Bible says, but I'm showing it to you based on the Quran, trying to make it close to your mind, based on mm. your understanding, no, based on your belief. You know, so Jesus, why Jesus did not wait for Jibreel to learn? Ask me a question that I have always had here. So, so again, um, say again, please. Can I just want to raise a question? I've always really had this in my mind. Yeah. All right. Um, it is the essentially this is one thing that's gotten me so so. Um, well, if God has, if Allah, okay, has said that He has sent down all all virgins. Yeah. So He sent down the Torah. He sent down the Injil, and then he sent down the Quran. Um, my question is, I mean, why did he wait um, so long uh, to tell people that Christianity is false? That's a good question. This is, that's a good question, my friend. But not only that. You see, even the Quran cannot be considered as a book to tell us that Christians or Christianity is false. Why? Because read with me carefully, my friend. If we go in mm. the Quran, you will find the following. Muhammad in the mm. beginning of his life he said this when he, in the beginning of his uh, let us say a prophethood he claimed to be a prophet yeah. he said the following that those who they are Jews and those who they are Christian and those who they are Sabian they have nothing mm. to worry about and they will go to heaven chapter 2 verse yeah. number 62 yeah, yeah. okay that's true that. okay yeah. how, how we say that Christianity is false and then he in his time he's a promising the Christians and the Jews and the Sabians to go to heaven. Saying is he's promising everyone heaven. Absolutely, and not only that, he's promising the Sabian who worship stars. So you're making him seem as though he was just trying to recruit. He was trying to make himself accepted in, for everybody, like Obama during the election, like in America. You know, uh, uh, the, uh, the, when when people they speak to atheists, he plays as an atheist. When when the mm. when, when the one who want to support him is a gay, he say I have no problem with gay. When he speak to Christian, he say to them I love the Bible. When he speak to Muslims, he said to them, the Prophet Muhammad was amazing. So they have many colors. They have many, many, uh, you know, forms because they are deceivers. If Muhammad mm. is a decent man, Muhammad is a decent prophet, and he believe in, 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 in what you just said, that the Christians are corrupt, then how he promised the Christians? Who, who are yeah, they? Right. Muhammad yeah, in this time, Muhammad in this time, he's talking to people who they are around him, not people who they are passed away. Mm. He said the Christians, the Jews, and the Sabian. Mm. All they yeah, have nothing said, to worry about, yeah. they go. But look what happened when Muhammad he gave up that the Jews will not accept him, the Christians are not accepting him. Then he starts focusing on killing the Jews and the Christian, not the Sabian. So, if in history, yeah, because you seem like a very knowledgeable man to be honest with you, in history, um, did many Christians accept Islam? Well, how don't you see me how much I'm accepting Islam? No, of course, you have not. So oh, until now, my friend, <laughs> until now, my friend, until now, after the occupation of Islam to the Middle East, there is about between 10 to 15 percent of those countries are Christians, which means they are resisting badly after all the humiliation, paying jizya, forcing them, you know. Until mm -hmm. now, there is between 10 to 15 percent are Christians. And that is telling you how much they will not, they reject Islam. And now for sure, during during the occupation, there's people who they are going to be weak. Like imagine if ISIS came to this town, your town or my town, and say, yeah. everybody, everybody have to be like us. Who dare to say no? Nobody, right? Mm. You agree? Yeah. Nobody. They will kill yeah. you. They will slaughter you with no mercy. This is what Muhammad well, is. Muhammad is ISIS. And Muhammad, he gave him an option in order to live and stay as a Christian, no problem. Pages here. So people they prefer yes. they prefer to be the jizya but not to convert. So what you're saying is that you believe that ISIS follows the Sunnah of the Prophet. My friend, ask yourself a question. You sound like a very intelligent man. Name for mm -hmm. me one thing ISIS did Muhammad did not do. Just one. To be to be honest with you, um, I see a lot of similarities, but um, obviously it was a different time. My friend, my friend, you see, when ISIS he slaughtered a person, he quoted the Quran. 
when he killed hmm. a person he caught the hadith they are truly truly true muslims that's that's a valid point you make you see to be honest. In, in order for isis person you see I, th those who join isis they are not uh, you know they're they, not they, they, they call, they, they, they they call them brainwashed they call them brainwashed but the fact it is that they believe in what muhammad did this is the truth nobody want to say the yeah, truth Muhammad, yeah, that's true, that. Muhammad he killed, Muhammad he kidnapped, Muhammad he steal, Muhammad he attacked caravan, Muhammad he took women, Muhammad he took children as slaves, Muhammad he forced to pay jizya, Muhammad he forced in slavery. So what, what, Muhammad he cut hands, Muhammad he put nails in the eyes of the people, Muhammad he crucify people, Muhammad he slaughter people, Muhammad he rape women. Name for me one thing Muhammad did, ISIS is not doing. They are just, actually, ISIS are very nice compared to Muhammad. There's many ugly things Muhammad did, ISIS did not do. You know, we cannot compare. Actually, there, there was a video made by a secular Muslim. They called him moderate Muslim. He was trying that to prove that ISIS are not true Muslim. Do you know how he did it? I don't know if you saw the video. He was saying no. that when ISIS, they enter a town in Syria, the, mm -hmm. the town was a Catholic town, Christian Catholic. Okay. He was showing a video of ISIS meeting with those catholic in a church taking them as a slaves and saying to them you have one of two choices the prophet he taught us either you pay the jizya or we will kill you all he said uh -huh. that the moderate muslim saying if isis was a true muslim should not accept to make them pay the jizya and he explained no. why he said because in that church those catholic they have a statues of mary and based on that, those are not considered to be part of the jizya payment. So the moderate Muslim saying that ISIS are not a true Muslim because they did not slaughter everyone in that church. That's quite silly, isn't it? See, but so, but this is how they prove that ISIS are not Muslim when they speak in Arabic. But when we speak in English, the story is different. I think what's happened is everyone's um, in this modern day and age. We've all kind of we kind of tailored the religion to our to our own needs. Yeah. Because we don't obviously as Muslims we're not we're not we're not trying to be like that. But we're trying to lead a good example, you see. So my friend, how you how you can be the good example of anything if your prophet is the worst example of mankind? With my respect to you, I'm, I'm not trying to insult you insult you, but I'm saying to you what I believe. You're not insulting me. Yeah. So how we how you if I am if I am a Muslim and you are a Muslim, how we can how Islam can be the best example for us if the prophet himself is a rapist? You well, know, imagine well, if the best example for us, he married children. Do you, do you like to marry children, uh, Adam? Do you like to marry children? No. Do you like to have a, a wife? She is six years old. Like, okay, what is the best example on that? What Muhammad is teaching us when he is 54 years old, marrying a child, she is six years old. He's not really teaching us anything, to be honest with you. No, no, he's teaching us. No, he's teaching us. He's teaching us faith. He's teaching us to be perverted people. He's teaching us not to be right. He's teaching us something evil. This is evil, my friend. When a man is age of 54, he takes to bed a child she don't even know what sex means. Yeah, obviously she's innocent, yeah. yeah so uh, so imagine, it. imagine, you know, you know, uh, Adam, I want you to do this. And uh, remember, when I say things, I don't mean to insult. Bro, please don't don't no, think I'm insulting. Okay. Imagine no. a guy at the age of 54 come to ask for your sister and she is six years old. What you would do to him? I, um, I may kill him. So how do you accept Muhammad to be a prophet? <sighs> My friend, Adam, I invite you right now to denounce Islam, to say Islam cannot be, a, cannot be from God. It's obvious. I invite you right now. And there's, and, and you know, don't be, uh, you should not be ashamed to say so because this is, will make you really a better person. You just say it, you don't, you, you will kill the guy who will take, you would do that to your sister. God forbid. Yeah. So of course. How you can follow a man, he do he he might do that to your sister if he was exist today. Well, you know, you know what the you know what the rebuttal is though, you know. So you know what you know the rebuttal obviously by most uh, by uh, by us is that um we don't um I feel bad even saying it, you know, because um I've just, you know, I've just followed what I've been told. Yeah, yeah my friend, but you, know, but you have a brain. You are a person. You are a human. You see, God, he gave us a gift. It's called a brain. We are not insect. You see, insect, they are programmed. We are not programmed. 
No. So we, we have to make decision. Life is about decision. You, you you make a decision who is going to be your wife. You make a decision who is going to be your god. You make a decision what you will eat today. You make a decision who is going to be your friend. Life, all of it is about decision. decision. Sorry? Let's say if I made the wrong decision, yeah? Right? And let's say I make the wrong decision in life uh, on to which path to follow. Does that mean I'm punishable for taking the wrong choice? My the friend, wrong path? Base, based on, because, let me tell you why you will be punishable. Yes, because as long we are not programmed, that's mean we have a free will. And as long yeah, as but, God gave us a gave us a gift, it's called the brain. So, but what if my brain has led me to believe something that's contrary to the truth? Well, uh, uh, let, let me explain to you. You yeah. see, always, yeah. always, always, a human being can blame something of something happened to him. As an example, I can say now, right now, okay, I saw a woman wearing short skirt, and this is why I raped her. But this is my re this is my reason. Okay, she tempted mm -hmm. me. She tempted mm -hmm. me. What I can do? But this is false, because you know it's wrong. Yeah. God yeah. He put inside you. He put inside you what is enough for you to make the right decision. Now, if what about if somebody is crazy or somebody you know he's born with the very low IQ? This is different because God is about justice. Yes. God judge you based in what is making you qualified to make a decision. If you are not qualified to make a decision, God will 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 will, will deal with you as a child. This I is, see. This is what the Bible teach. So, like, even like in the Bible, we have where if you are a person who never heard about Jesus, let us say I am a person who live in the jungle in the middle of nowhere, and I never saw Jesus, I never heard of Jesus, I don't even speak a language of anyone of a human being there. So, what is the deal? in Christianity? This person he will be judged by what he knew. Only mm. God installed in us when we are we are born, not a program, but he installed in us to 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 have the ability to know what is right, what's wrong. Like when you see blood, you get disgusted. You do not but, need you do not need an education to know that killing is wrong and rape is, is wrong. You, you obviously it's evil. So uh, uh, God will judge you based on what you know. Now you as a Muslim, me yeah. as a Christian, we spoke to the together already, and you yeah. had the opportunity for somebody who is a Christian to clear things out to you. So now you are yeah. out of excuse to say, oh, nobody told me. That's true. So there is no no way to say uh, here we go. We are talking no, about you for the last half hour or more, and you agree with me in many many points. So based, based on the agreement, you know, we agree, we share the ground in many things together. So shouldn't we make a decision based on what we got? If you got the idea that Muhammad cannot be a prophet of God, he do evil stuff. It's obvious everything he stands for is false. Imagine I want to speak to you about morality, but I don't have it. I'll give you a speech about morality, but me myself, I don't have it. The one who don't have it, he cannot give it. Hmm. In order hmm. for me, in order for me to speak to you about holiness, I have to be holy myself. Yes. In order to speak to you, give you a lecture about honor, I have to be a person of honor. Muhammad is not a person of honor. Do you know the story of Muhammad going to his own son and he flirted with his wife? No, I don't. Hmm. Muhammad, he went to his own son. And the husband was not there. Mm. What Muhammad he did, according to the Muslim books, Muhammad he flirted with the women, and he said to her, "Praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart flip for you." Okay, imagine. And again, I'm not saying the example to insult you, my friend. I'm just, I will make it about myself, so you don't get offended. No, imagine, no, no, no. imagine my dad come to my house. Why yes. I am not there, and then he flirted with my wife. Mm. What kind of a father this father is? You know what I mean? Yeah. So Muhammad to be a person who wanna teach me about God, shouldn't he first ask himself how to teach himself a small good manner that if you go to your son house, you should not do this? Not only a son, let us say, let us say I am a person who claim to be a Christian, then I go to your house and I flirt with your wife with my respect to her. What kind of a Christian I am? Correct. Yeah. So, so now we have a guy who claimed to be a prophet, not someone he claimed just to be a Muslim. He claimed that he is the prophet. If you go right yeah. now and read the interpretation of chapter 33, verse number 37, I will give you some time. You know, you go and search by yourself. You will see this is exactly what happened with Muhammad. And even the Muslims, uh, they explain why Muhammad he was like that. So one of the explanations they say that Allah He gave Muhammad, gave the Prophet. 18 
privilege. 18, yes. 18 privilege. One of I them, can see that. One, of, one of them is if he like a woman, her husband must divorce her so he can have her. <laughs> what kind of a prophet this prophet is? Did, did, did you ever use uh, uh, watch a movie for the Viking? <laughs> yeah, I Muhammad think I've a, seen it. Muhammad is a Viking. He like your wife. He is stronger than you. He take her. Your wife is is just a woman. He take her from you because he's stronger. You are not strong. He can kill you and he can take her. So what do you mean? And how they how what kind of what kind of scholars they say that the prophet he have such a privilege that if he saw a wife of somebody her husband must be divorce her and they meant by that many stories including the story of Zaid in chapter thirty three verse number thirty seven. Hmm. So how Muhammad can be a prophet? Well, a prophet is just a man. Is that not correct? It doesn't matter, my friend. A man, but you, you, you see how you can be a prophet, but you are, but but you are a source. Of, you, but you are a source. Of, let, let me ask you. Let me ask you, my friend Adam. Let us, because you mentioned the word a prophet. Okay, I want to give you a small challenge, friendly challenge. Can you give yes. me one prophecy so we can call him prophet? When we say somebody is a prophet, right? Uh, that means what he prophesy. Yeah. Okay. What is the prophecy of Muhammad? I mean, we don't have a book of revelation. No, no, no. You see, the Quran spoke of a prophecy, a pro prophecy. Muhammad, he said, as an example, we spoke about this even yesterday, that Muhammad, he claimed that judgment day is very near and the moon split. Correct? Well, if the moon split, then everyone would have seen it, yeah? Not only that, my friend. Not only that. You see, and actually, you, you made a very, a very good point. If you go in history during the time when the, the Messiah was crucified, you will see even Chinese dimension that there was a darkness in the sky. There's Roman, there's a Greek historian report that there was a darkness in the sky. So, like, it's not a, a, a local thing happened, it was a global thing. So, what, when, when, what? When Jesus was crucified, according to the Bible, the, 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 sky, the sky went in darkness. So, uh, 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 it was a global thing. Many they witness that there's mm. a great event happened. Okay. Now, when mm. Muhammad he say, "Iqtarabat is saatu wa shaq al qamar" in chapter fifty-four, verse number one. Mm. And then the Muslim they post for us a picture from NASA about a valley in the moon, and they say, "See, this is a crack in the moon. This is not yeah. a crack. This is a valley." And we we have we have we have big. If this is a crack, well, we we have the biggest crack in the world, which is called the Gra the Grand Canyon. <laughs> huh. You know, huh. so this is not yeah. the moon split. The, when we say the moon is split, it's mean the moon became two pieces. Do I agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I agree. Okay, so there is no way the moon is split because that would destroy the moon immediately. Secondly, what happened? Allah, He put it together again. <laughs> if, well, if, well, the, if the moon if is God split, is powerful, if God is all powerful, He can surely do that. Is God, is, if God is what? If God is all powerful, then he can no, put no, no. Into... Yeah, but you see, the Quran does not report that Allah He put it together. Muhammad He said the opposite. He says the moon is split and the judgment day is near, which means this is a sign that the judgment day they started already. Hmm. Why? Because the moon is split. He did not say, okay, and Allah He put it together. What happened that Muhammad he saw the eclipse and he copied a poetry of a man, his name is Umar al Qais. Uh, and this man he was making a poet about a woman he liked, a woman he loved. What he said that that when he saw her, he, he you see the Arab they like white women. Yeah, the Arab because they live in the desert. The sun is strong. Yeah, yeah. So so he's he, he's making a point about his pretty girlfriend, uh -huh. or let's say lover. So when he saw her, he said the judgment day uh, is near, uh, and the moon is split ascender. He was talking about his girlfriend. He was not talking about the moon. <laughs> I will show you the point in the front of you in the screen, and you can take a snapshot from the screen, and you can show anyone. That is Sa'a wa Shaq al Qamar and Ghazali Sada Kalbi wa Nafar Ahwar and Kurhurtu fi Aswaf Aswafihi, Nais or Torfi, Bainihi Hawar, Marriom al Eidifi Zinetihi, Faramani Fata Ata Fa Akar. You see all the lines, guys, in the, in the screen? All those lines. Do you see it, my friend Adam? Um, I can't access the video okay. at the moment, but I'm all go those back. lines, all those lines in the screen, I'm showing, I'm showing the point. All those yeah. lines, Muhammad, he took it and he put it in the Quran as it is from this poetry. Mm. You know, 
Here you see actually not not this one, the one underneath. Faramani This is a verse in the Quran. Mm. You know, uh, Muhammad is nothing but a thief. He took it, he put it in the Quran, and he claimed that this is about the moon split. But so what you're saying, what you're telling me is he's he's extracted poetry from elsewhere and put yes, it into yes, the Quran. Yes, yes, yes. Like now, I like now I. Uh, uh, you see, there is people they 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 claim that they are writing books, but the fact they are copy paste from others, you know. Mm -hmm. So the hour the hour of the judgment day is night, and the moon is split, a, 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 a cleft asunder. Well, this is something Muhammad he said fourteen hundred years ago, and here it says in Arabic, that is sa. It's like in Arabic, then at it's like almost almost there, to the point it's like here it's here. This is why he's here in the translation says. The hour of the judgment is night. What night mean? I, I, English is not my my first uh, uh, language. What this word means, you know? N I what night? N I G H. N I G H. Yeah, is night is near. Yeah, what does that mean? It means it's near. It's very near, right? Very very close. Yeah. Okay. So, but yeah. this is something he said fourteen hundred years ago, and he claimed that it is a sign of the judgment day that the moon is split asunder. This is a false prophecy. Uh, Judgment they never happen, and the moon is not split, and the moon is still there. So what happened? Allah He changed His mind. He gave a sign of the Judgment Day, and He's changed His mind. He went back to sleep. Hmm. It's like saying, "Okay, the barbecue started and the fire is on, and then after fourteen hundred years, we come and we find that the fire is off." Yeah. Everything in the Quran does not make sense. Now I want to give you, I will give you opportunity, please, to to kill any doubt left in your head. What make you still think that Islam is a, is religion coming from God? Somehow, let us say there is something still in your head making you believe somehow that there is something truth in Islam. Like it, maybe maybe the scientific miracle in the Quran, as the Muslim claim. Do you believe in those things? Um, I've um, to be honest, I've never seen. Uh, I've, I've, I've tried reading them, but I've not been able to find them. Right, they don't exist. It's a lie. So, what is holding you until now for uh, to to say I'm a Muslim? Um, many things, you know, um, family. Ooh, uh, yeah. You see, my family, my family will not make me start. You know, I have to be at least. You know, uh, uh, my friend Adam, if I follow. A goat, obviously, the goat is smarter than me. Do I agree? Yeah, because you're following it. Okay, so because otherwise, if you are you are a smarter, why you follow a goat? So, if my family, with my respect, your family, following a goat, why you want to follow the goat like them? It's just to keep them, just so they don't become upset. Well, make them upset, and then they themselves they will wake up and they will leave the goat. Somebody, somebody have to clean the garbage in the it's... house. You know. Every house, me, my house, and your house have a garbage. If nobody want to throw the garbage out, the garbage will stay there. What if somebody in the house he liked the garbage? What we would do? We keep it? No, we are going to make him upset. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I invite you right now to denounce Islam, to reject Islam, and if you have a question for me about Christianity more, I will be happy to answer you, my friend. I will be happy to hear from a smart person like you. Who is born of a Muslim family to accept that Muhammad no way can be a prophet and that it will be the good start for you to be a new person and then we can search maybe the Messiah is a true maybe he's not you know instead you have to make decisions but you don't you don't you don't you just admit it and you just agree that Muhammad can't be a prophet you did not say it clearly but you did say that you said that already so why you don't say it why you don't say okay there is no way Muhammad is a prophet <laughs> Um, because obviously, when you believe something for so long, you can't just immediately change that belief, can you? Let me ask you a question Did you hear about the story of Abraham in the Quran? Um, story of Abraham. Wait, oh, yes, yes, of course. Okay, so what are you talking about? The one with his son, with one what are you talking about? Abraham and his son. Yeah, but, oh my but, God. How, but how Abraham became a Muslim? 
Oh, right. Is Abraham a Muslim? Yeah. Yeah. How he became a Muslim? Do you know? I didn't know Abraham was a Muslim. It is the most funny, stupid stories ever you can imagine. I came after Abraham. It's the most funny, stupid story you can imagine. Chapter 6. We can go. I will read, we can read it from verse number 76, verse 17, 8, 79, etc. You will see that it says, uh, Abraham, Allah is, is reciting for us the story of Abraham, how Abraham became a Muslim. Look how this funny story, child is a story. It says, so also when we show Abraham the power and the laws, how he showed him, read this. When, when the night covered him, who Abraham, he saw a star. He said, this is my Allah. But when he saw it is set, he said, I love not those who said. <laughs> what do you hmm. think? What do you think? Do you really believe in such a stupid story? Why? Abraham, he never saw the star set before. Abraham now is a man. What do you mean he saw the star? And then he saw the sun. He noticed that the star set. First of all, the star never set. The star is there, correct? Mm -hmm. Because the earth is moving around itself and the star is not disappearing, at mm -hmm. least from its place. It is it, it, it is there. When we say the sun set, this is not true. We can accept that as a figure of speech. But the fact there's no sunset, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. But here Allah is giving us the reason why Abraham, he changed his religion from worshiping the star. Why? Because the sun set. Okay. Then second day, or maybe after a few years, when he saw the moon rising in splendor, he said, this is my Lord. Look how stupid this answer here. Aren't you the one who just said that because, because the star set, he rejected the star? Okay. Okay. Are you saying to me he never, he never saw the moon before? That's what I was thinking. So wh what, what does that mean? The moon never set in the time of Abraham and suddenly it set? <laughs> the moon is, was always there? <laughs> So mm. when he saw the moon rising in splendor, he said, this is my Lord. But when the moon set, he said, I don't like unless unless Allah guide me, my Lord guide me, I shall surely uh, among those who go astray. And then look at this, the madness. When he saw the sun rising in splendor, he said, this is my Lord. This is Akbar. You see here, they say the word Akritas doesn't say that. It says Akbar. Akbar was the yeah. name of the God, which is the God of the sun. This is why the Muslim they say Allahu Akbar, which means God of the moon and God of the sun are united. Tawheed, one God, one. the God of the sun and the God of the, the God of the sun is Allah. The God of the moon, the God, the, sorry, the God of the moon is Allah. The God of the sun is Akbar. So when Abraham he saw the sun rising, he said, "This is my God. This is Akbar." Okay, okay question. Okay. Um... I follow, I follow what you're saying, but then um, to take it a step back and then to look at the Old Testament and then why is it that the believers in the Old Testament don't necessarily believe in the Bible? What do you mean? What, what so, do you mean? Uh, believe in the Bible? Like you say, what was that? Jesus, say again? So Jesus was a Jew, yeah? Jesus was a Jew and there's a, there was Jews, there, was, there are still Jews today who don't believe in Jesus. My friend, my friend. There is a Christians today they don't believe in Christ. They are they call themselves Christians. They are false. But in the same time, yeah, but, in the same time, let's oh, hold on. Did, did, did you ask my question? Let me answer, my friend. Okay, we can answer. Who said, who said that Jews did not believe in Jesus? All the apostles of Jesus are Jews. All of them. The one, the one. Yeah. You see, I am not a Jew. I am an Arab, and the one who brought Christianity to me, he was a Jew. So how we say that Jews did not believe? Actually, the majority of the Jews are already Christians. Because after 2,000 years of Christ, how many Jews we have in the world? 13, 14 million? Is that possible? Mm. Where, where, where they go? Because they are gone through Christianity. There's a lot of Jews, origin Jews, who they became Christians. So it is the opposite, not what you think. The majority of the Jews already they are Christians, and the minority of the Jews, they are still Jews. However, today, today there's people who they are atheists. Is that to prove that Jesus is false? No, it doesn't prove it. There's a pro there's people who they are communists. There's people who they are gays. There's people who they are lesbian. There's people, you know, freedom, people. Freedom bring a lot of things, my friend. Freedom, in order to know who is who, is who, who 
give a freedom if you force everybody to wear hijab then we do not know really how many of them they care to wear hijab as a, as something willingly because we force yeah. everybody same as in saudi arabia they force everybody to pray but we do not there's no way in saudi arabia the whole country is a believer nobody is a is a gay or lesbian or an atheist or etc so having jews who they are still jews that will not change anything about who is jesus let us say for the sake of argument jesus only yeah. only 12 people they follow him only until now let us say until now only 12 people follow him that will not change anything since when you say so yeah, yeah, be yeah, because truth, since when the number my friend since when the number will make a different about the truth because that is uh, usually it is the opposite the the, the deceiving thing okay. is, is, is more popular like now be honest with me if i say to you we want to go and help um an older people who they cannot uh, uh, clean their houses let us go and help them and I, and someone else he said to you we have a party in the bar we have a free drink we have uh, girls are coming and it's which one is more attractive well the second one uh, see so here we go which one but it's obvious which one is the true one the one we should do as a human but always always deceiving things is more attractive and here you will notice with me i don't know if you saw the hadith i was showing you that your prophet he said that when you go to heaven allah will make your penis will never sleep <laughs> isn't it the same as the guy who said to me that go to the bar which is the devil over going to help somebody who need help do you see a hadith in the front of you on screen my friend i don't but i'm following you okay it says muhammad taking an oath saying there's no one whom allah admit to paradise but Allah will marry him to 72 wives, two from the Huris and 70 from the inheritance from the people of hell, all of whom have desirable front passages, which means Muhammad, Allah even describing for us that those women are specially imported from hell. Do you know what does that mean? Why those, like, what do you think about why those women, Allah will take them from hell? Why they are coming from hell? Because they're the, cause they're the dirtiest. Because they are what? The dirtiest, because they are hookers. They are they are yeah. they are expert. Yeah. They are expert in sex. So Allah will choose for you mm -hmm. from the mm. from the warehouse of hell, the best of the <laughs> hookers who they are very good in all the skills of sex. We don't have to give details. And now He described to us that they are very beautiful to the point you will be crazy when you see their boobs and their vagina. Excuse my language. <laughs> no, it's, it's what fine. kind of a prophet He said that? And look what He continues saying, and He will have. <laughs> He will have a male member which will never became a flaccid, i.e., soft limb. Okay, I get you. This is God. How that can no. be God? How this how this is can be a prophet of God is speaking to me about heaven of God, saying to me, Don't worry, be happy. Allah will provide you with penis, will never go sleep because it's made from concrete. And the women, Allah will go to the warehouse of hell and he will import for you. The best women in sex from hellfire. Yeah. So, my friend Adam, what are you waiting for? Denounce this garbage, man. This is this is not for you. You are smarter than this. You are honorable man. You cannot be a person who belongs to this. So why do I belong? Do you want to belong to Muhammad after what you heard? Do you want to belong to this? Do you want really to believe in someone teaching you this? Mm. Be honest. Well, no. Yeah, I hear you. Can you hear me? I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, so um, based on what you said, no, but, you know. No. So my friend, say it. Say Muhammad can't be a prophet. Denounce Muhammad right now. Denounce the devil, my friend. I'm waiting. So you want me to denounce, me denounce. denounce the devil? Denounce Muhammad. Obviously, this is the devil, my friend. Say Muhammad can't be a prophet of God. I am out of this. Okay. So what is it? What What do you think? What you should say? I think it 
tough words, to be honest with you. I know you are a band of courage, and you can say it, my friend. Denounce him. Your honor is in the stake. Your honor. Do you accept this? This is this is about honor. A person who. But this is where I come from. Do you know what I mean? Sorry. This is what I come from. No, no. You see, you, you you did not choose where you are coming from. Nothing wrong with that. You see, I, me, and you, we did not choose. But when we grow. Yeah, but God, I can't say to you. I can't say to you them words, and then then go to my community and pretend that I never said this. We'll say it. It's, you know, it's, it's, uh, you, you want to go to the community, you say to them, you want to be a hypocrite? I don't want to be a hypocrite either. So? You are worried about your community, but you are not worried about mm -hmm. your honor. You want to you wanna, you wanna fool yourself, say this. So you are saying to me, okay, I agree with you. Muhammad is a false prophet. Obviously, this is devilish. Cannot be from God. But because I have a community and I have to make them happy with me, I'm not going to say that. Yeah. But that means I accept with my respect to you to be a hypocrite. Hypocrisy, hypocrisy is to say to people not what I believe is not what they think is right for them. Correct? Yeah. So now you believe that Muhammad is not a prophet, but yet you want to say to them Muhammad is a prophet just because you don't want to make them make them sad. But but that you know you will respect respect to yourself. It's up to you, you know. So denounce Muhammad, say, be a man, and I'm sure you are the man. Denounce him and say, Muhammad can't be a prophet. There is no way I'm going to follow such a man. Okay. Uh, Muhammad cannot be a prophet. I accept that, yeah. I mean to that. Wonderful. I'm so happy for you, my friend Muhammad. Or Adam, sorry. And, you know, I'm happy for you that you make a decision. Now, as long you made a decision that Muhammad is a false man, which is a wonderful thing to do, I want you to step back and think about what is next. What is the best to follow? Maybe nothing is best to follow. Maybe stay an atheist or maybe the Messiah who is no name like him and no name better than him. He never say false. He never speak sin. He never do sin. The one who is above the heaven and the earth, the one who did miracles, which is amazing. The one who said something nobody can say, love your enemy. So I am inviting you right now to accept my Lord, the Messiah, to be your savior. I'm not forcing you to accept it because in Christianity, you have to be reborn again. There's nothing that's called born of a Christian family. We don't believe in that. You have to be reborn again with the Christ, which means you have to make a decision of your own. That I am Adam, who was a Muslim, and now I denounce the devil. I want to accept the Messiah as my savior, as my personal God. That is a personal choice you make, not something you inherit. We are not Muslim. We don't believe in that. So if you mm -hmm. want to accept the Messiah, I invite you right now. I have the honor to present to you the best name of the good God, which his name is amazing. His name is the Messiah. If you like to accept him, feel free to say, I accept. Except. Amazing. I mean, I mean, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, my friend Adam, there is a there is a happiness in the heaven. The Bible says when a person, mm -hmm. one person is saved, there is a happiness in the kingdom of God. Imagine how much loving God he is. While Muhammad is busy killing, chopping heads, killing people just to please his God. Our God said that the happiness will be in the heaven of God. Just because you, Adam, now you accept him. So, my friend Adam, I'm so happy to have you today as my guest. I believe that the Lord He sent you in my way, and the Lord He sent me in your way. So, me and you, we can witness for Him. And the Lord, the Messiah, He said, Every two of you say my name, I will be the third. Jesus, right now, is with us. He heard you, He heard me. And today, from today, you are a child of God. You are a child of God. <clears throat> People, they think when we say we are children of God, that means God have sex with our mother. That is an Islam, my friend. Our God is our father because he is not the God of slaves. When they asked Jesus how to pray, he did not say, Oh God, forgive me. Oh God, look what he said. Amazingly, every word is speaking wisdom. 
our Father art of heaven. The first thing you call God, our Father. We are not slaves, as the Quran says. You ask a Muslim why Allah created us, he says to worship him and to be his slaves. That is the God of echo worship, self-esteem. Our God, he loves us. We are the children of God. And then he said, ask God for forgiveness, but the same as you forgive to others, which means Jesus is teaching us to be an amazing, loving people who forgive others before we ask for forgiveness. Do you understand me, Adam, what I'm saying? Yeah. Before I pray to God to forgive Christian Prince, let us say I am Adam. And now mm. uh, to forgive me, I am Adam. I don't, in Christianity, we don't pray, oh God, forgive me only. No, I have to forgive the one who hurted me before, before I ask for my forgiveness. Because if I am a sinner myself, I don't deserve to, forg to be forgiven if I don't forgive others. And that's what I said to you in the beginning. If you don't have honor, you cannot give honor. If you don't have quality, you cannot give equality. Mm -hmm. So here Jesus is teaching you and teaching me that before we ask for forgiveness, we speak to the Father as a father, and then we deliver forgiveness to others, we forgive others, and then we ask for forgiveness. And that is the rest of Jesus, my friend, when he said, love your enemy. You see, Adam, if the whole world practice one sentence of Jesus, not the whole book, just one sentence, which is love your enemy, do you think that we will have war ever again? Mm. If everybody love his enemy, do you think we will have a thief? If everybody love everybody, nobody will steal your money, right? You can leave the window open. If some, if everybody love everybody, do you think somebody will get killed? The no. whole world will become heaven and earth just for one sentence of the teaching of Christ. So what about we do the rest? One sentence of Jesus will change the whole earth, will make the earth an earthly heaven if we follow him. So my friend, right now, because you accepted Jesus as your savior, you are in earthly heaven. And I have the privilege to welcome you to be called a child of God and to be a person who be loved by the Messiah. And right now, he speak to you through my mouth. Welcome to Christianity, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have any question, Adam? Um, no, 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 I just... Um... Well, I will be happy if you have any question. You can call me back anytime you wish. And I'm so glad to know you and to meet you today and to speak to you. Yeah, yeah, it's been a pleasure to be honest with you. All right. Uh, right. Sorry, again, say again. I'm just, uh, I've been watching a few of the videos and um, yeah, I just felt like it's a little bit more to the moon. Look like the devil is trying to 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 mute you. The the voice is cutting off. <laughs> anyway, my friend, you are welcome, and I'm happy to 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 speak to you. Feel free to call me again anytime you wish. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Beautiful, beautiful. May the Lord bless you and bless your family. And you see, Adam, even though you are your family are Muslims, we as a Christians, we should pray for them as Muslims. You see, Christians, when they go to church, I advise you, by the way, Adam, to go to a church, meet with Christians, ask for baptism. Baptism is you making it official that you are a follower of the Messiah. And you will see with your own eyes that when the Christian, they pray, they don't pray the same as the Muslim in the mosque. May Allah destroy them. May Allah kill them. May Allah, etc. Please, Allah, don't make us the same as the Christian and the Jews who they are lost. They will pray for every single human in the, in, the, in the world. We pray for Muslims. We pray for atheists. We pray for the Hindus. We pray for the Buddhas. We pray for every single human. And this is what is Jesus about. Happiness today in the kingdom of God for our brother Adam who left Islam and accepted Christianity at this moment.